Zillow recently removed climate risk information from its website and app. Redfin is keeping that information because we think it is valuable information to home buyers, but it's also valuable information to homeowners. If a homeowner is not aware of climate risks, they won't make adaptations and renovations to prepare for those climate risks. But if a homeowner, for example, learns that their home is vulnerable to flooding, they can invest in landscaping that navigates water away from their home, or they can invest in new gutters that also divert water from their roof away from their basement where it could potentially flood. Homeowners can also advocate for policies at a community level. They might advocate for retention ponds that divert floodwaters away from neighborhoods and into these areas that are less damaging to real estate. The same thing applies to fire risk. If a homeowner discovers their home is vulnerable to fires, they can invest in a new roof made out of metal that is less flammable, or they might decide to cut back vegetation that is flammable and puts their home in danger. And they can also advocate for more resources for their fire departments so that their community as a whole is more prepared for the risks associated with wildfires. I think that any information that helps homeowners and home buyers make better decisions about our changing climate is a good thing. That information is not always going to be perfect, they're based on predictive models, and while these models have been peer reviewed and validated, they're not going to get it right 100% of the time, which is why we allow homeowners to remove climate risk information on an individual basis. But we will not be removing climate risk data as a whole. It is the default that if you are searching for a home, you will see the climate risk information associated with that home provided by First Street. I'm Daryl Fairweather, Redfin's Chief Economist. If you'd like to learn more about how a changing climate is impacting the housing market and the economy, follow for more.